think this is three boxes. Good luck, dudes. And may the hits be with you. What the hell? Big night of prism ahead tonight. Might be able to put together a final mini or filler or something for the final teams. Um, NFC East for Patrick. The Deuce. Um, AFC East for Robert D. Could get that Brady color burst. Carl Trexler, the kitty. He's looking for some cart or some, uh, yeah, some Carter action. I got Carter on the brain. He's looking for some Kyler. Terrell Suggs, 249. Whoa, that is not the card that we're looking for, but it is Zach Allen. NFC West. Teddy Ginn. It's divisional three box, Neil. Not yet. You didn't get your Joe Montana either. Don't forget about Joe Montana, the original goat. He's in here. And you better be a Niner in it. I'm sure he is. Tyler Lockett. 99. Number to 25, Xavier Howard. Yeah, there's your Kyler. C ride to twenty five. RG, NOC North, Kylie, this is box one, um, I'm liking Prism. For real, I'm liking it. What I like about it is a little bit, some small, I'm a very visual person when it comes to the cards to decide whether or not I like them. I guess most of us are. Some of them just don't look good. They're too dark. They're boring. But they changed up the design a little bit, slightly. They kept these little things up here. But I like this cut out here. They added color in here. 
And the checklist is dope with the veterans that are in it. Speaking of which, here's one just like this. Franchise Legends. It was on Q. AFC Souther for Sean Crossman, who is back. Sean, let me tell you something, dude. It is nice to see you back in my breaks. I appreciate it. Does not appear to be numbered. It's just a shiny prism, though. Case Keenum, 175. Told you guys we would see. I even called it. I said, week eight, we're going to see Dwayne Haskins. Go back and watch the videos. I called it. I said, week eight, Dwayne Haskins is playing. I know he got in a couple weeks ago. And that wasn't for a whole game, I don't think. Or, you know, to finish a game. See, there he is. Joe Montana, number to 199. Greatest of all time right there. Only because Tom's still playing. This is box two. Hey Google, what's the New York Giants record? The Giants are in third place in the NFC East with two wins and, mm, two and five. Of but the Cowboys are four and three, so only two games ahead. That doesn't mean she at at week eight. Seriously. NFC eight East is four, three, two, and one win. That's doesn't seem to be anybody in full control in the NFC East right now. Hey, Google, what are the standings in the NFC West? MVS. Oh, yeah, that's what I want. I want him to, I want him to get more playing time, man. Kids a little scared out there. Some big dudes trying to kill him. Hakeem Butler to 10. Just give the Eagles some time. Oh, that's a strike. You know, on baseball, I can't figure out. Why don't these batters swing at those clearly obvious, freaking perfect, right down the middle pitches? Like, why don't they swing at those? But they go fishing on other pitches. Are they just taking a taking a chance that it's going to be a ball? I mean, some of these pitches are like, holy crap, that's what you want. And they don't swing at them.
That is not quite the giant we're looking for, but it is a nice camo. Nose are numbered to 25. Play at the plate. <laughs> the Steelers are Cliff. Yeah. I hope so. Sweet. There you go. You want that for the AFC West and my main man. Congratulations, Ryan O. Recently married, dude. Number to 49. Well, now's the time for your teams to go on a run in the midseason. Win those final eight games or so. It's like the Bears. They only have three losses, right? So when you live in a city to which your team kind of sucks and is not like upper echelon, what you do is you say, look, they only got three losses. They could win out. Let's suppose it's the end of the season. What's 12, 13, and 3? That's a great record or whatever. Just got to win all out the rest of the rest of the season. That's what Cliff is thinking right now. I think the Bulls look good, though. What's up, Waxtopia? I'm going to run our EBW next. 199, Jordan Atkins. I don't know what the Bulls' record is, but I know that they've been playing some good games. Looking good. The rookies. Mitch Trubisky, speaking of which, he's not panning out so good, is he, man? I'm, I've been trying to defend him. I can't keep defending him any much longer. One forty-nine. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's totally not looking good for the for the Bears. The Packers are so far ahead of them. I mean, you got to win your division. Geronimo. Matt Breida. He's a great running back, but man, he is very easily injured. Tavius Murray, 249. Cool, veteran. Flashback autos of Curtis Martin. He's probably, uh, what is he, a Jet? Or a Patriot? Anybody want to look this up on the checklist? Flashback autos, card number one, Curtis Martin. See where he goes. He could be a Jet. He could be a... Well, they're both AFC East, so... 
probably goes to AFC East. Right? I remember Curtis Martin as a Patriot, though. I was, used to try and get his rookie cards back in the day. Yo, what up, Rob? Baby Shark. <laughs> Just when I get that song out of my head. Jordan Scarlet. 249. What's up, Dudley on Twitch? I see you over there. Didn't the Baby Shark song, wasn't that created by, you know, one of those YouTubers where the kids make videos and goofy videos with the parents and they made that song for like their YouTube video, right? Not knowing. Not knowing what it will become. Now they're pro multimillionaires. 99, Austin, Hooper. Oh, you did? Well, thanks, dude. We're all over here on YouTube. But if you want to watch over on Twitch, that's cool. I would love to move the whole operation over to Twitch. I'm not lying to you. The problem with Twitch is, or maybe maybe Dudley knows in Twitch. Does Twitch have an app yet to watch on your phone? They should have an app to watch on your phone, right? I'm seriously considering moving everyone to Twitch. It's just such a cooler place. I can do much cooler things with chat. Jared Goff. But migrating everybody over to Twitch would be impossible. Barry Sanders, 149. You talking to me about Pepsi's? Uh, I have. I lost track. It's got to be five, six months. I've had a Pepsi or two in between in the past six months, but not three or four a day like I used to. I bet I've had a total of five or six in the past six months. I don't even get them at restaurants anymore. So it is. Does? Huh. Yeah, I like Twitch. They're just more advanced when it comes to... You can run like live contests on your channel and... Yeah, I was drinking, I mean, my whole life I've been a soda drinker. Um, 
when I first started in radio, I used to do the overnight shift, midnight till 6. And the guy that trained me, the guy I was doing overnights and I was taking over from, he would always bring a six-pack of Pepsi to the radio station for the night, for his shift. And I just kind of mirrored what he was doing. So I'm like, well, I'm going to bring Pepsi for my shifts. So I would bring Pepsi in and I would drink Pepsi all throughout the night during my shift. And it just got hooked on Pepsi big time. And as of late, meaning the past few years, I would buy those little 7-ounce Pepsi cans with real sugar. They were made with real sugar and they're the little Pepsi cans, 7-ouncers. And I would buy them in the house and I would just drink them things like crazy because they're so ice cold. I mean, they're delicious. And I started realizing there's no way it can be good that I'm drinking six, seven, eight of these a day. Herb Smith Jr., Vikings, Rookie Autos, Red Wave. Red Wave, Herb Smith. So one day, I don't know, months and months ago, I said, that's it. Told my wife, if you don't buy them, don't bring them home. Problem is she was buying them and bringing them home because she knows I love them, so she would bring them home. So I asked her to stop buying them, and that really helped. Because they're not at home. And I start, I switched to tea though. I switched to iced tea. But I think I gained weight guys. I swear I gained weight when I quit drinking Pepsi. Because I started drinking sweet teas. Like over the counter sweet teas. Gold Peak and stuff. And I don't know if it's because they have maybe more sugar in them. Or more calories probably than soda. They probably have more calories than soda. Or because it wasn't real sugar. But I'm trying to think. I think maybe last week I would I had some I had some Lou Malnati's or something. I asked Heather to bring me home a uh, a root beer. I mean Popeyes doesn't help. Getting off the air at 1.30 in the morning and going to McDonald's doesn't help. Although I haven't done that in a month or two. Dude, I'm telling you. An ice cold can of Pepsi. Mm, see, now I'm thinking about it. Right out of the fridge, ice cold can of Pepsi when you crack it in that first sip. <laughs> that first sip is magical. Well, here's what else I do with my Pepsi now that Rob brought up Pepsi. Uh, I buy grenadine. We would have grenadine at the house. And I would make a glass of Pepsi with ice. And then I would pour grenadine in it and mix it up. So it was like a cherry soda. It was so good. That was my favorite drink. But I'm pretty sure with the grenadine and all the sugar. Oh my God. I don't like that flavored water stuff. I can't do it. It's weird. Oh boy, running back, Miles Gaskin. Thought it was going to be Daniel J. Marino. There are some big, super shiny, low numbered, cool monsters in this stuff, guys. We just got to find them. Yeah, it's like crack, man. It's literally like crack. Which is the reason I decided to quit Pepsi, because I'm thinking if people can quit smoking crack and shooting heroin and taking pills, I'm pretty sure I could stop drinking stupid Pepsi. That's how I quit smoking. No more smoking. That's going on 15 years. Unsweetened tea. Yeah, but it doesn't quite do it. This is what I drink here. It says zero calories. I like the tea and, and, and lemonade mix. Keep buying canned pop. <laughs> Course! 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 Oh, Lord, no cores. 
Good heavens. All right, well, thanks, dudes. Divisionals. Oh, they got Cherry Pepsi Zero? Don't tell me that. How's that freaking PYT1 looking? Hitting refresh. Oof. Dustin Dudley. Dustin Dudley took the bills. All right, we're going to run the second filler of mine. It's called an EBW. And it's called EBW because everybody wins in it. Sean O'Mac, Phoenix, is it sold out? Three left here. Close out that Phoenix half case. Three left in Phoenix. Should be able to get into the case breaks of Prism after this. One out, two on. Bottom six. Hmm. Here we go, homie. Slash. 